Because today is week seven, day one, and we're still in a money and coins review. However, there's some concepts that definitely need some refreshing while we're at home, and they come across a little confusing. So I wanna make sure it's all clear for you. So we're gonna jump in talking about tape diagrams and money word problems. This reminder is about the key vocabulary, part, part, and whole. We've seen this before when it comes to number bonds. We know that our two parts, for example, two and eight, create our whole. I know that two plus eight gives me my whole of 10. Excellent. And that works the same in a standard edition problem over here. Two plus eight part plus part equals whole. It also works for subtraction. 10 minus two equals eight. Whole minus part equals part. Whole 10 minus eight also equals two. So these number bond numbers work as a fact family. This also goes for tape diagrams. As you can see, the dark red is my whole. The two parts should be the exact same size as your whole in a tape diagram. So if my whole again is 10, the two parts that make up 10 are eight, and as we already know, two. Now you can solve for that two by saying 10 minus eight equals something, or something plus eight equals 10. We're gonna see this work with bigger numbers in our new learning, let's try and problem set today. So let's get our DCPS packet and look at the new learning. In the new learning portion, we are solving a word problem about Claire and Trey. The key here is the word more. Claire has $89. She has three more $5 bills, four more $1 bills, and one more $10 bill than Trey. How much money does Trey have? So we need to find how much more money Claire has first. So that is that green underline right there showing us how much more money Claire has. They drew it for you right here. Now let's count it and see if you notice an error in the packet. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Hmm. They wrote 19. We know that when you add them up, Claire has 29 more dollars than Trey. So if our whole is 89, the money Claire has, and that she has 29 more than Trey, that's the part we know, we're looking for the missing part of how much money Trey actually has. We can solve this in two ways. We can do 89, the whole, minus the part we know, 29, to get the missing part, or 29, the part we know, plus the missing part to give us our whole. You have to solve in whichever way works for your brain. When I look at this, I'm thinking, hmm, nine and nine, I know it's gonna give me a zero in the ones place, and I already see eight is larger than two, so it's gonna be easy math. Eight minus two is six. My answer is 60. Trey has $60. That makes sense because we know that Claire has 29 more than him. So 60 plus 29 gives me 89 Claire's money. Time to step it up in the let's try when we're creating this all on our own. So this part looks really intimidating. At first I looked at it and I was like, whoa, that's a lot. But let's break it down to make sure that we can solve it. Michael has four $10 bills and seven $5 bills. He has three more $10 bills and two more $5 bills than Tamara. How much money does Tamara have? Now, they drew Michael's money for us. We know that if we count these bills up, it is going to be more money than Tamara has. Therefore, the bigger number, it will be our whole. 
So let's count up Michael's money to get our whole count with me at home. I want you to switch when we get to the second line. 10, 20, 30, 40. Switch pattern, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, label it, dollars. If we're putting it in our tape diagram, Michael's total money is $75. We have our whole. Now, we need to think about what it is asking us to solve. We need to know how much money does Tamara have. Hmm, I'm looking down here, and it says in this blue box with the arrow, if you can see pointing up to the part of the tape diagram right there at the bottom, sorry, this is in my way, about um, how much more money Michael has than Tamara. We're going to put the value in that box right there. Sorry, that thing was so annoying. So how much more money does Michael have than Tamara? That's the money we're putting in the box. Now the way to solve this is by crossing out the more that they told us. He has four, uh, three more $10 bills. So let's go ahead and cross those out. He's got minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. Okay. And he's got two more $5 bills. Minus five, minus 10. This money right here is our part. If we add it up to go into our tape diagram, we will get how much more money Michael has than Tamara. The money we crossed out is the money he has more of. So when we add it up together, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, Michael has 40 more dollars than Tamara. Now, our main goal is finding out how much money Tamara has. So that must be the part that is left over. You can simply count up the remaining bills to get your answer. So go ahead and do that. Your total that you should have counted for your second part is $35. Tamara has $35 in total. So that will go right in that bottom box down there it's grammatically incorrect. It says Tamara have $35 in total. It's Tamara has $35 in total. So the gist of what you're doing today is really focusing on that part, part, whole language of building your tape diagram. It will require you to carefully read the word problems in order to solve in your problem set. Take your time and make sure that your whole and your parts are in the right boxes, and that will allow you to solve correctly. You can rewind this video, start from the top, and just review those pieces to get you going.